Well, it's been one week since the partner of a man found dead at a Denison intersection was arrested in connection with his death. New tonight, News 12 has obtained the arrest warrant detailing what landed her in jail. News 12's Hannah Gonzalez interviewed the woman days before her arrest and brings us these new developments. Late Easter Sunday night, Denison police found 26-year-old Brian Olivo dead in the roadway at the intersection of FM 1417 and 691. The next day, I interviewed Olivo's girlfriend, Claudio Ramirez, who told us he'd left their home to go on a walk. I heard somebody yell, so I went outside, and when I went outside, I seen a car parked in the middle of the road. And I seen something on the floor. And claimed her boyfriend was involved in a hit and run and pleaded for someone to come forward. Just to take responsibility for what they did. But four days later, she was arrested in connection to Olivo's death for manslaughter. News 12 obtained the arrest warrant that details what happened that Sunday night. The warrant states Ramirez and Olivo arrived back to the residence after spending time with family at Ramirez's sister's home. Ramirez told police Olivo said he wanted to go back to the sister's home, and Ramirez said no, which upset Olivo. According to Ramirez, he threw a beer can at her and grabbed her. She said she got in her car to escape him when he lunged on the roof of her car and was banging on the roof and windshield. Ramirez proceeded to leave the residence and drive to this intersection where she continued to hit the brakes to shake Olivo off the vehicle. He eventually hit the pavement and died at the scene from blunt force trauma to the head. Police interviewed a neighbor whose fence overlooked the crime scene. She said she saw a woman get out of the vehicle and started screaming at the man on the ground. The woman, who was later identified as Ramirez, got back in her vehicle and drove off. She then circled home, parked the car, and ran to Olivo's body, about 250 yards away. Once police connected Ramirez to the death, they asked her why she had lied. She said she was afraid of getting in trouble and that she had been assaulted by Olivo before in Seguin. But according to Seguin police, Claudia was the only person arrested for assault last year. Oliva was a victim. She's now being held in the Grayson County Jail on a half-million-dollar bond. In Denison, Hannah Gonzalez, News 12.